What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new reaction and today we're learning a little bit more about football. Today we're watching the beginner's guide to football, football for dummies. So football for Americans. <laughs> After this past World Cup, I've devoted myself to at least learn a little bit more about the sport of football. And I haven't completely deep dived into it just yet. You know, I've, I'll watch a match here or there if it's on. But I'm going to try to change that today. And today, we're just going to try to learn the basics. You know, I've never played football, never really watched it besides this World Cup. So I figured, hey, start low, start with the basics, and then we'll try to move up from there. So we're about to get into it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Come along with me on this this journey of me learning about football. Drop the leagues I should watch, whatever teams I should watch, some players to check out. Help your boy out down in the comments. But other than that, let's get into it. Absolutely astonishing. Oh! It's wonderful. Football is a beautiful game, and to many people, it's also easy to understand. But what if you're new to football or soccer, as they call it in the US? I mean, what if you play cricket or American football or do road cycling and rules like offside don't make much sense? In that case, we're here to help you because in today's video, we'll go through everything you need to know to play and understand the game. Yeah, I, I had no idea offsides was a thing in football. <laughs> like, I, I just don't understand it. Like, how? <laughs> this is the beginner's guide to football. Hi, Tommy. Just gone through. Brazil in real trouble. Did they make it another one? Astonishing! It's all up, they're queuing up! First of all, a football match is all about scoring more goals than your opponent in the specified match time. If both teams score an equal amount of goals, the match ends as a draw. In a league system, winning the match gives you 3 points and drawing gives you 1 point. Now, let me remind you that football can be played in many ways and on many different surfaces, but the most commonly known is association football, which is played by 11 players on grass on what is called an 11-a-side pitch, which is a rectangular pitch with two goal lines and two touch lines. In each end of the pitch, you have a goal and a goal area consisting of the small six-yard box and the larger penalty box, and I'll get back to what the deal with those are in a little bit. Now, in the middle of the pitch, you have the center circle, which the opponent has to stay out of when you kick off the match by kicking the ball out from the center spot. Now, each football team consists of 11 players, with 10 of them playing outfield and one being the goalkeeper, who's also the only player on the team who can handle the ball in their own box. But he can only hold it for six seconds at a time until he has to release it. Also, the goalkeeper can't pick- What? I did not know that. They can only have it for six seconds? ...the ball up if his teammates pass it to him with their feet. But if it comes off their head or any other non-foot body part, it's okay to pick it up. And uh, speaking of body parts, football is of course mostly played with your feet. But the only thing that's actually forbidden for the outfield players to touch the ball with is their arms and their hands. So you're free to use your head, your chest and thighs or whatever you like to play the ball. Now, if the football leaves the pitch by rolling entirely over one of the lines, the play is temporarily stopped. If the ball goes over the touchline, there's a throw-in. If Team A touched the ball last, Team B gets the throw and vice versa. If the ball, however, goes over one of the goal lines, it also depends on who touched it last. If it was the attacking team, it's a goal kick taken from within the six-yard box, whereas uh -oh. the opposing team gets a corner if the defending team touched the ball last. In which See, I didn't know that. I didn't know how like they had the corner kicks, and if it went over one line, it was a throw-in, then the other line, it's a kick. See, that? See, bro, this is why we're watching this. We're learning. I did not know any of that. Ace, the corner is taken from the corner spot. Unlike American football and basketball, the clock isn't stopped when the ball is out of bounds. A game of football lasts for 90 minutes, but the referee then has the ability to add time if there's been many breaks due to injuries or substitutions or other prolonged stoppages. Typically, that additional time will be 1 to 5 minutes per half. If the game is tied by the end of the 90 minutes, it'll either be a draw if you play in the league, or you'll have to play two extra halves of 15 minutes each if you have to find a winner. Has there ever been, like, a match that ended exactly on 90 minutes? Like, there was no stoppage time at all? I feel like that'd be impossible, right? Because it's always running, and, you know, the ball's gonna go out of bounds, and you're gonna have subs and stuff. Y'all let me know, has there ever been a match where it was like no stoppage time at all, it ended right at 90? 
If it's still a tie, the game will be decided by a penalty shootout. Of course, typically you can make three substitutions per game. And in elite level football, once a player is substituted, he can't come back on in the same match. Another oh. important aspect to look at is fouls. And the referee can blow a foul if he finds that you break any of the laws of the game, whether that's violent conduct or something as simple as handling the ball. If you commit a foul, the other team gets a free kick, which comes in two variations. A direct free kick, where you can shoot directly at goal and actually score, or an indirect free kick, where the ball has to touch another teammate before you can actually score. However, if the referee decides that the team who would receive a free kick would have a bigger advantage by continuing playing, he can allow that by holding two hands out in front of him. If a free huh. kick, however, is committed inside the penalty area, the opposing team will get a penalty where the ball can be shot at goal from the 11 meter spot and where only the taker and the goalkeeper can be inside the penalty box. Once the taker has then shot the ball, he can't touch it again before it's touched by another player on the pitch. But if you commit a serious foul, you can get a yellow card. If you get a second yellow card in the same match, you receive a red card, in which case you have to leave the pitch immediately without being replaced, and that sucks. You can also receive a direct red card without having received a yellow card before. Damn. If you're naughty and, for example, have made a really violent tackle or prevented a goal by handling the ball. So yellow cards are kind of like... They're like, okay, you fouled, this is kind of your warning. You get a red card, you're done for. Like, it's kind of like technical fouls in basketball. Gotcha. See, I, I knew about the yellow cards and the red cards and stuff. I just didn't know how they really worked. Of course, unless you're the goalkeeper. And finally, there is the... So, wh wait, what if the goalkeeper gets a... Can the goalkeeper get a red card? What if he, like, goes crazy and gets a red card? Do you have another goalkeeper? Like, a backup goalkeeper? I feel like that's not a thing. <laughs> yeah, let me know. ...miss offside rule, which might be the hardest one to understand. In essence, it makes sure that you can't just leave a player camping around the opposition goal. Here, the rule says that you're in an offside position if any of your body parts you can score with are in the opponent's half of the pitch and closer to the opponent's goal line than both the ball and the second last opponent in the moment the ball is played. Of course, it's allowed to be offside, but if you receive the ball while you're offside, the opposing team gets a free kick. See? So it's so you don't like cherry pick, pretty much. You can't just be down there and then somebody kick it down there to you and it's just you and the goalie. I, okay, that kind of makes sense. You can't be past the ball and past the other team. Just down there cherry picking and kind of just running around. It's pretty much cheating. It's pretty much cheating at that point. Okay, see, that makes sense. All right. That, okay. It's actually not that hard. Of course, knowing the rules and the basis of the game is important, but to become a great footballer, you also need skills. And here it's important to have a good touch and control on the ball, some good game intelligence, being able to shoot the ball well to actually score, and to have the ability to dribble past your opponents. And if you want to learn how to do these things, check the playlist on your screen where we'll teach you how to improve hey, your football skills. Hey, I, I, so, I might need to check these out. <laughs> there you have to, my friends, the football or soccer rules for beginners. Hey, if you want to learn... That was... I'm really glad we watched this. I learned actually a lot. Offsides isn't as confusing as I thought it was going to be. It was just kind of weird thinking, how do you have an offsides in football? But it does make sense. It's so you don't be cherry picking and just down there by yourself. And then I didn't know there was a difference between the lines, like the goal lines and then the touch lines. And that's how they decided if you throw it in or kick it off. See, bro, this is why we watch stuff like this. I'm, I actually like that. Knowing these basic stuff, and then trying to go and watch it now and actually knowing kind of what more is going on. It's going to help me understand it more and make me actually want to continue watching the game. But y'all let me know down in the comments what some other things you think I should know. Again, we're we're, we're to the basics. So <laughs> let me know some teams I should check out, maybe some different leagues. That's going to do it for today's reaction. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop a like for more football reactions like this. We can learn some more or watch some highlights or something. Let me know by hitting that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go out today. Spread love. Spread kindness. Do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. Shit, your reaction. I'm out. Peace.